are all here because of a woman who has created a legacy for herself and for the world and for the children's voices. Now is the time that we can no longer be asleep, but now is the time to truly, truly think what is your legacy, but to live it now, not to leave it behind. And that is exactly what Lisa Haysha is doing. Her legacy is dedication, her legacy is compassion, her legacy is love, and I am proud to introduce Lisa Haysha. This has been my dream to bring legacy leaders, thought leaders, indigenous people, saints, sages, and celebrities together because all of us have a voice by ourselves, but joined together and banding together, we're so much more powerful. So we have so many powerful people in this room tonight, and I just want to congratulate all of you for all the work you've done in the world. And what this is about tonight is I wanted to create a forum for people to get together and to really create something special. We all have a voice. We're all powerful. Each and every one of you are, and you would not be in this room if you weren't, because this is, room is about change. It's about making a difference in the world. And I know each and every one of you want to do that. What do you want your legacy to be? I want uh, my legacy to be where people who maybe have heard my stories or know me or where they could say, wow, I didn't think that was possible, and now that is a possibility and where they take action and don't let fear uh, or other people's fear inhibit them. So what do you want your legacy to be? Ah, uh, you know, I was looking at the video and I was thinking about it. You know, it, it, uh, speaking of legacies, it makes me think about my great grandmother who lived to be about 100 years old mm -hmm. and she was the cook of the family. I mean, she could throw down, <laughs> you know, she knew how to put everything, but she never wrote anything down. She never had recipes. And towards the end of her life, Everyone was crowding around her just trying to write down all the things that she, you know, so we could pass it on so we could figure out how to really make that good macaroni and that can, you know, the casserole and all those things. And I just remember thinking about that. And, and, and as a kid, it really impacted the family. And when she passed, that was one of the things that we held on to. You know, we would read the recipes on Sundays, we would make those those dishes. And so I think that I want my legacy to be a recipe for people who have the, the cards stacked against them, you know, they don't come from money, they don't come from much, because I come from, you know, not a lot, mm -hmm. that gives them encouragement that says, hey, you too can make it. You can go out there and chase your dreams with a lot of hard work, you know, you can accomplish what you want. So I want to be that sort of inspiration. You know, having children, I, it's scary having children, because it's like, gosh, everything we do is how they're gonna be raised, how they're gonna treat other people, and you know, we learn from them so much, but I think for me, feeling empowered and confident is so important and kind and compassionate and, and to have love and peace. I want to leave that and again, change the world through fashion in so many ways. And, um, and I, I, hope, I hope that I can do that. I know that I will actually. You know, I look at life like it's a bucket. And there's all these drops that go into it. And, um, and especially with where, where the world is at right now. I am so concerned. Those of us that have light, and you said it, we're light bearers in here. And those of us that have light, it is so important for your light to shine right now. Don't you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a lot going on in the world and we are so needed. Our leadership is so needed. And every time that we step forth and every time that we, it's, I don't care if it's a kind act, I don't care if it's taking your talent, your services, your gifts out into the world. It's another drop in the bucket. And at some point, that bucket's gonna overflow. And the world will reach the hundredth monkey and it will change for positive progress and change for the evolution of humanity. So if, I guess what I wanted to say, what would my legacy be? it would be to live to see that and that every person would know that they matter. That one drop in the bucket could be what overflows it. And you know, it's so funny because people go, oh, well, what do I matter, right? I just, I'm a drop. All of it matters. 
and all of it is needed right now? I, it's funny because actually, um, I think both my brother and I have never seen ourselves in my dad's footsteps. My dad does what he does, um, and we do independent things. And um, I said earlier, like I'm an irregular meditator. My first job was with MTV, and I tell stories about, um, you know, being in the streets of India and realizing one day when I saw poor children on the side of the road um, and, you know, MTV blasting on a television there, that that wasn't my legacy. But I actually didn't know what it was. Um, and we grew up with this concept of Dharma or that we each have our unique purpose in life. And to be honest, it's something that has stressed me out often in my life. I was like, I know what I don't want to do, but I have no idea what I want to do. Um, and so this journey that I took writing my book, Living with Intent, was really about figuring out my purpose. Um, and I just did a TEDx talk two weeks ago um, where I shared going to meet the well-known author Eckhart Tolle, the author of The Power of Now. And um, it was a crazy experience, which is in my talk. But in that talk, I told him at one point, I said, you know, I grew up with this concept that we do have our unique purpose. And he says, well, maybe instead of thinking, how can you serve, which was a question my dad made us ask, he'd say, ask, how can the universe serve through you? And I said, yeah, but that really stresses me out because at the end of the day, I'm a soccer mom who drives my kids to school all day long and I'm just trying to balance my company yes. and my kids. And um, Eckhart responded with something which was very beautiful. He said, you know, it's the everyday people who are doing extraordinary things who are raising the frequency of this planet. Yes. Amen to that. I want my legacy. I just, I, I, I want to use art and foundations to give people hope, joy, inspiration, love, kindness. And um, that's it. I, that's, I think that's a great legacy. I mean, I, I want to be known for helping people and inspiring other people to do the same. So what do you want your legacy to be? Just that people know that through my struggles, I just wanted to use those to help others. I mean, it's just no simpler than that. I went through it, I went through the pain, and I know the pain that other people feel going through this. So let me, you know, kind of bear that burden for you and put it out there now and just, just help. Just be genuine and help. So as far as my legacy goes, um, with humor and, and optimism and uh, the support of people who love you, we were not meant to go through this life experience alone. Anything is possible and expect miracles. Yes. And I also believe that with what's going on in the world, the opposite of war is not peace because the opposite of destruction is not stasis. The opposite of destruction is creation, so the opposite of war is in fact art. So I believe that if we all tap into our authentic selves and create and express our emotions and our creativity, that we think globally but act locally, yep. that world peace comes from each individual having inner peace from expressing ourselves and, um, and not, not going through this alone. Thank you. Thank you. Emmanuel Kelly. You So when you go through life saying life's hard, life's challenging, I can't do this, I can't do this because of this or that, this is what you look at, an inspiration, someone who's saying, letting nothing hold them back. And I want you to share a little bit of your story. Um, my story is uh, I was found in Iraq and, and I was fortunately brought out to Australia. And um, my dream is now in America and my dream is to become the first differently abled commercial success um, or pop star or commercial success in all ways um, and I, I, I'm a strong believer that we're all equal we're all beautiful that we're all special and that um, you know if you can if you can say to someone that's non-racial that's non-discriminatory in any way shape or form why they can't make it then give it to me but other than that I think everyone has the chance and everyone has the if they have the will the power the determination the grace and, and, and if they put their power minds to it, it, it can be done. This is dedicated to uh, all the, just all of you. What would I do without your small mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out. I've got my head spinning. No kidding, I can't pin you down. What's going on?
An athlete, a composer, but wait, is there a man I am? Please tell me more, I still don't understand Do my actions every day decide who I am or was my destiny Chosen like a grain of sand in the desert That's in one thing's for sure, you cannot hide From the person that you are, who you are to be That changes every day, depending how you live your life Our society tells you one thing, your heart tells you another Should you follow your own path? So should you follow your own path? Yeah, who am I? Who could I really be? If I find myself, I will be set free Let go of the past, forget about the future Live in the present and reconnect with your culture So quiet your mind and let all things go And see paint pictures with words like Van Gogh Live your life like an artist and reach for the stars You will find within yourself who you are I am an individual, spiritual No one can tell you who you are We are told the bigger the better The nicer the car determines who you are You are like a shining star One in a million, who are you? That's your decision Don't rely on someone to bring you happiness So look inside yourself Find your oneness with the world around you And the people that surround you Make every moment last And every action count Because before you realize We're running out We're running out of time So open your eyes Realize every living being Is so interconnected Our earth is collapsing Generation will protect it Yo, who am I? Who could I really be? Cause if I find myself I will be set free Let go of the past Forget about the future and live in the present and reconnect with your culture. Get yeah, quiet your mind. Let all things go. MCs paint pictures with words like Van Gogh. So live your life like an artist and reach for the stars. You will find within yourself. Who you so thank you guys so much. That's a little bit of my talking activism, inspirational speaking type of thing. And my art and my music, both really important parts of who I am. I'm really, really happy I could share that with you guys. Really happy I could be here tonight. Um, so my name is Koryanka, and Koryanka in my native language of Quechua means golden eagle. I am descendant of the Quechua and Wanchi Paita people of Peru. And um, I would like to say that we are all here today as the result of our ancestors' prayer, prayers offered for the survival of our nations. So I would like to give thanks. Um, and I would like to just say that change, it starts with you and me, one positive action at a time, multiplied by millions, um, is what I really believe truly changes uh, this world. And tonight, we are all gathered here in celebration of some of the most outstanding and dedicated voices for positive change. And I feel so tremendously honored to be here tonight with all of you to present uh, this award to a fellow brother and young advocate for Mother Earth, because this is something so important. So here you go. You get the Legacy Series Charity Gala Award this year to Tez Pat Martinez. And I hope this helps your mission and your cause and helps change the world and I'm so proud to be a little part of that mission. Mm. Oh my God, give me a hug. And as a recipient of last year's award, we were able to expand our program into two additional, no, two additional locations this year. So we actually did our program in four foster care facilities. We produced 10 short films this year. Some of our kids, as you can imagine, being in the system and haven't been abused and, and gone through some traumatic things, our kids um, have been victims of sex trafficking and all of these horrible things that no human being should ever experience. But as a result of going through our program, one girl in particular was able to testify finally against her accuser. And it was so huge for her because she found her book. She had a platform. She got the courage that she needed to testify against someone who had used her at a very early age. She was only 15 years old. And at this year's award, she won Best Actor. We actor, just think the power, had the power to tell her story her way. So we just had growth and expansion. 
And just from that, being able to go into those different um, agencies and produce more films, we've been able to work with celebrity directors. Um, we were just on Tiger Rose on Jimmy Kimmel Live uh, right after the festival talking about it. He did a spread in People Magazine. So when you give love and it continues to spread, as I told Lisa before, it's like a domino effect. It just keeps spreading and spreading and spreading and spreading. And there's nothing more powerful than love. So I just thank all of you for being here and getting your heart and sharing that love. Thank you so much, Lisa. I love you. Hi, I'm Kathy Buckley. I am known as the first hearing impaired comic in the country. I have traveled the whole world for a long time going to deaf educational programming all over the country, all over the world, and helping to find the best education possible for deaf and hard of hearing children to have spoken language. My belief system is with today's technology, with the cochlear implants, digital hearing aids, it's almost impossible for a deaf child not to have spoken language. So my job is to see that they get the best education possible. Well, for, fortunately for me, I was in L.A. in my backyard. I found an amazing woman. Her name is Dr. Chris, uh, Michelle Chrissy, and she was a pathologist, and she worked in a school. And she, too, had the same passion. So she came up with a theater group for deaf and hard of hearing children. For Nationwide, we do theater group for deaf and hard of hearing children, and now we have three new after-school programs for deaf and hard of hearing children, two in L.A., one in Las Vegas, and now we've extended our program to India and Africa. I am so in awe of you and the work you do. You're so talented. You're famous. You, you could do whatever you want. You could stay home and watch TV all day, and you spend every day, hours a day, helping children. And that's exactly what this is about, the Whispers from Children's Hearts Foundation. And what the Legacy Series is about is raising the voices of people like you to inspire others. The three things we have is if you could motivate others, check. Can you articulate your vision, check. And are you making history? And you, my darling, are making history. I love you, I adore you, and I want to award you with this oh. year's oh, Legacy beautiful. Gala Award. Yeah, thank you. Yes. And a nice oh. big fat check for $10,000. <laughs> Thank you so much for all you do. Lisa deserves an incredible hand. Yeah. Very, very, very hand. She's very more than anybody in the world. Thank you. 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 That if it were not for sitcoms, the checks would have been a lot smaller. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. I tried carrying the weight of the world.